Okay, if we stop it, it stops, good. And then we can reset it. Oh, look at that. Boom. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different right now. So instead of kind of a real tutorial, we're gonna try to build out uh, Conway's Game of Life. So I've been looking at uh, studying a little bit of mathematics recently, and uh, Conway's a pretty neat figure if you haven't uh, ever checked him out. But one of the things he's very famous for is uh, his Game of Life. Um, this is just the Wikipedia page right here. You can see some examples over here. So this is basically a simulation that is supposed to simulate uh, life. And uh, there's certain rules um, based on kind of cellular automata type things. Yeah, and the game obeys these certain rules. So let's take a look at this. Let's actually bump this up so we can see this a little bit better. So these are the rules kind of boiled down. So we're going to have sort of a grid here. And within the grid, uh, we're going to have these different cells. So the rules for this game are any live cell with two or three live neighbors survives. Any dead cell with three live neighbors becomes a live cell. And then all other cells die in the next generation. Um, and then similarly, all other dead cells stay dead. So these are the basic rules well down. So we're going to try to implement this in uh, React and kind of, uh, yeah, get a little visualization going for it. Uh, this is a Wikipedia page. Here are some different examples of different games of life type things. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I actually have no idea um, kind of how I'm going to do this right now, but we'll figure it out as we go. I did Google this and it looks like some other people have done some stuff like this. We got a Benawad video, which is probably much better than uh, what I'm going to do. But uh, if we get stuck, we'll check out some of these uh, different uh, resources right now. But we'll see uh, first if we can do this on our own. So that is a lot of preamble, but let's get right into it. So we can come over here. Let's bump this up a bit. We'll just start with the create react app. So we'll say uh, MPX create uh, react app. And then we'll say uh, game of life like this. All right. So once that's done, let's uh, CD into that. And then we're going to open it up in uh, VS code here. All right, so we got our project open in VS Code right here. And now uh, if we look in our source folder here, uh, we got our app.js. Uh, and this is where we're going to do kind of all our work here. So we can uh, open this up here. And we can run our app just with yarn uh, start. All right, so our project is up and running. So let's get rid of this terminal right now. And... Uh, we can get rid of basically all this markup here. So we'll get rid of this header. All right, now we got to figure out exactly what we want to do. So I think the first thing we're going to try to work out is how we can create just a grid um, working on here. So let's uh, go ahead and do that, figure this out. So what are we going to need? We're going to need some columns and we're going to need some rows on stuck uh, calls. And that's going to be equal to how many calls we'll go. We'll maybe adjust this, but we'll say 30 for now. And then we can come down here and we'll say 30 and we'll go uh, rows and that'll be the same. So we'll go 30 rows. Okay. So we have our calls and our rows. And what we're wanting to do here is create a uh, grid right now. So to start off, we'll have like a random grid, I think, of uh, alive or dead cells. So in order to do that, we're going to have to create kind of a random grid uh, function here. So let's see what we can do here. So we'll say const and we'll go grid or we'll call it a uh, random grid. OK, we'll set an empty array. And then we're going to loop through um, all the different rows here. So we'll say for. And then we'll create uh, an empty row. So we'll say const and we'll say row. And that'll be equal to an empty array here. And then another for loop. All right, so we got this random grid function now. Um, so we're going to start just with an empty array here. 
we're going to loop through all these different rows. So we got 30 of them here. And for each uh, row within those, we're going to set this to an empty uh, array also. And then we're going to have an inner loop here, and it's going to loop through the columns. And then for each uh, each one of these, we're going to say row dot push, and then we're going to get a random number here. And we're going to push uh, grid dot push. So this outer thing, uh, the inner row. And then finally, we're going to return the grid here. So hopefully this will give us a 30 by 30 kind of random grid right now. Now, in order to check out uh, how this is working, let's console.log this out and just see if um, this works. And we're going to call that, obviously. There we go. So let's come over here and open this up. Now you can see here, I don't know if you can see that, but let's bump this up a bit, get rid of this. So we got this uh, random grid of uh, zeros and ones right here. So that is exactly what we want. So we can just say if it's uh, a zero, it'll be dead. If it's a one, it'll be alive or vice versa, whatever we want. So let's actually get a random grid up on the screen here. Let's do a little bit of a layout here. If we come down inside here, we can get that going. All right, let's check it out. So this is going to be kind of our markup here right now this won't work at all so if we yeah this isn't going to work at all uh we haven't set grid yet so we got to set grid uh, is what we're going to call our state here uh so let's come up and do that so come up here and we'll set some state and we got to bring in a uh, state here and we're going to say use state and we're also going to need uh, use effects. So let's just bring that in because we're going to use that right now. And that's going to be from React here. Okay, it's telling us we're not using that yet, but we'll use that in a sec. So we got our grid right now, and it's uh, just going to be our state, but it's going to be empty. So we got to actually uh, set that random grid. So let's come over here and we'll say uh, use effect here. And inside of this use effect, we'll go like this and we'll say uh, set our actual grid and we'll set that to that random grid we just created. And we'll call that right there. And then we only want to run this uh, one time here. So we can go comma and we're going to run this at the start of uh, when our page loads here. So that's what use effect will do to set our random grid. And now we have our grid set in state theoretically and boom. Look at that. We got a random grid. This might be a little bit bigger here. Yeah, so 30 by 30. We'll just leave it like this for now so we can see. You can see uh, this is setting these uh, green squares randomly. So if we uh, refresh each time, you'll see they're, they're different. So that is working very well. You see we have this conditional down here for our background color, whether it's uh, green or white will depend on uh, this loop up here. So that is how everything is working out. It's looking good. Um, and the random grid is good. All right, so that's great, but uh, we actually wanna set the simulation. So these should be actually moving around and uh, either living or dying depending on their neighbors. So let's uh, get into that, see how that's gonna work. All right, so now we're gonna have to do some sort of a simulation function to actually run the simulation. Um, so let's come below here. Uh, we'll say function and we'll say run uh, simulation like this. And in here, we're gonna have a button down here. I guess that will say run simulation, start it up. Uh, in here, uh, we want to actually uh, run our simulation. And we're gonna do this with a kind of a set timeout. So every like whatever, 100 milliseconds or whatever we want us to do, it will um, run. So let's see here. Uh, let's see what other people maybe have done with this. All right, so we can kind of go with some of this stuff. Let's uh, start writing some of this out here. Yeah. 
need to copy over some of these positions here. Let's just copy this. <laughs> Alright, so we got our run simulation right here. Now, let's add a little button action up here. Uh, we'll do this up here and we'll just say button. And we'll say, uh, we'll say run for now. And in here, we'll do an on click. And inside here, we'll just say, we need a set interval actually, because we want to run every like thousand mill, uh, milliseconds or whatever. Uh, so we'll say set uh, interval, like this. And then in here, we can do our call our run simulation. See if this actually works at all, which is unlikely. <laughs> and then we'll want that to run every what? Every thousand milliseconds here. So we'll say save and check this out over here. Uh, we have this run here, so let's hit that. Nothing. Nothing at all. Do we get an error, so are we just not even... I don't know if inhaler on... Oh, we spelled on click wrong. That doesn't help. Go ahead and save that. And here we're working here. Let's go. All right, so this is literally just working right now no way of stopping anything I think this is working for the most part here now this is gonna run forever so we don't actually want that let's refresh this okay so that's looking good so that's our uh, simulation function so this is our main function which is going to implement all of our rules so the code will be in a link in the description to the github if you actually want to check out how some of this is gonna run um, but most of this I just stole from uh, over here this guy's stuff uh, altered it a little bit uh, basically we're just running through um, each of these different positions that we have up here uh, and every thousand uh, milliseconds it will uh, rerun and then we'll determine which is alive and which is dead based on uh, these various rules here and that's kind of what we went over uh, above at the beginning all right, so now that that's good, we actually want to be able to start and stop something here, and we'll do some more states. So we'll say const, and we will say start and set start. And that's going to be equal to use state. And we'll start it off as false, I think. That'll work. Good. And then uh, we might actually need uh, a reference from outside, I think, of, uh, let's go here and we're gonna say const and we will say start uh, ref like this. And that is gonna be equal to use ref. And we'll say start. So that'll reference a start here. And then we can hit this from anywhere in our app um, that we need to. Okay, and then in order to do this, we're going to say start ref like this dot current. And that'll be equal to start like this. We're going to bring in use ref up here too. Okay, so that is good. And then inside of our simulation, we're going to do a little if statement, I think, in here too. Uh, so we'll say if, and we'll say uh, this ref, so start ref dot current. So if that's not true there, we're just going to return, which means uh, we've set that to false, and the simulation won't run. Okay, so that's good. What else can we do right now? I think that's basically it. We have to have a stop button and a start button, but that is uh, just fine. So let's come back and clean that up a little bit here. So we got our on click right now. Um, in here on this on click, we can uh, come in above it right here. So instead of just running the simulation with the set interval, we will come up here and we'll also say set start. 
So this will actually be our start button and it will just say not start. So it's gonna toggle that. This will toggle our start button. And then uh, on the click here, below this, we'll just say if uh, not start like this, start ref dot current, and we'll set that equal to true. So we'll change that actual use ref right there as well to uh, true as we start. And then this can stay the same set interval. Uh, that's good. We want to change this. So we'll do a ternary here. So we'll just say uh, if it is a start here, uh, we'll just go stop, stop button. And then otherwise we'll say start button like that. Uh, that's not a plus, that's a ternary. There we go. Save that. And then let's also just do a reset. So I think think come down below here i think a reset would work if we just said we'll do a button here and we'll just say reset and then in here uh we can do it on click again and we'll say set grid and that'll just be a random grid we'll reset it by calling random grid again like that Go ahead and save that. Okay, I think that might be everything. Let's see how this is looking. Come over here. We got our start and our st reset here. So we start it, it should go to stop. Goes to stop there, starts running. Bump this up a little bit. Okay, if we stop it, it stops, good. And then we can reset it. Oh, look at that, boom. We got a working game of life right here. It's kind of fun just to watch this jump around like this, following these uh, kind of specific set of rules. So let's get this a little bigger here. So this seems to be working okay. I'm not sure if I implemented this right or not, but it seems to be working a little bit. Um, anyways, that was kind of building out the uh, game of life. Got a lot of help here from uh, this article here. The building the game of life with React and TypeScript. Oh, this is actually interesting. Oh, this was originally, this is Ben Awad's video apparently. So shout out to him, I guess, because I got a lot of the code from him as well. So anyways, uh, that was kind of fun just to try to figure that out, even though we cheated a little bit by uh, checking out some other people's code. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a different video, not so much of a tutorial, but just uh, watching me mess around and look silly. So hopefully that was uh, fun to watch. If you uh, want to see more of this type of video, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll do more tuts and uh, other stuff as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.